All right, guys, let's go ahead and start talking about styles and themes. So first of all, what is a style? Well, let's say that you had a bunch of, I don't know, maybe you had a bunch of these inputs where the user could type something into your app. And uh, let me just change the size of this to like 300 DP. All right, so you had one on the sign up page and you had one I don't know maybe they could like leave a comment to their friend or something and you wanted all of these little inputs these plain text fields to have a gray border and I don't know maybe like a tinted light blue background so what you decided to do is add a bunch of these and then okay gotta go to background and uh, and where's border gotta change okay that's gonna take like a thousand days if you're gonna have to do that to every single one so instead what you can do is you can make something called a style. Now a style is kind of like a class in CSS. It's a reusable design. So you can make one style and then apply it to every single element that you want. And if you ever want to change it, I don't know, maybe you want to change the color of the border to red, then you can just change the style once and it changes on all of your widgets. So let me go ahead and delete that and let's go ahead and learn how to make these babies right now. So right click on values because this is where you put them new values resource file and I'm just going to name this something like ocean.xml since this is going to be all my like cool blue ocean styling and hit OK. So by default we're given this. Alright this is just our XML stuff and in resources is where we're going to stick everything. So the first thing I want to do Anytime you want to make a new style, oh, let me adjust my seat a little bit, you add the element style just like that. Now the name of your style is just, what do you want to, let's say you're going to make a bunch of, uh, you're going to apply the style to make your text blue. So I'm just going to name this style something like baby blue. And um, you have an option to add a parent, but we won't do that right now. Now what a parent is, is essentially something that you can inherit from. So I'll show you guys how to do this later on, but right now I really don't want to overwhelm you. The really basics of a style is anytime you want to make a reusable design, just include a style tag and give it a name. And then you can use this name whenever you want. So of course, if we're going to make a reusable design, we might as well add some you know cool designs. So each attribute or property you add in the item tag. So the name, I'll just write Android. The first thing I want to do is just uh, set the layout width, if I could find it, layout width and height. All right, so the property, of course, is in your tag, and in between, you write the value. So wrap content, let me just copy this and set layout height. So I'm going to be applying this style to a bunch of different text. Actually, let's drag a few more on there. Let's drag a large text right here and a large text down here. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to change the width and height just to wrap the content. And that's just for uh, housekeeping stuff. Now let's go ahead and get to the good stuff. So I'm going to copy this one more time and the property that I want to change is text color. So on all of these elements I want to set the text color to something like actually here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set this to EF 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 which is kind of like a light gray and then I'm going to set the background of it because I don't know I just think that'll be really easy to see. So the background color is just background and one of my favorite blues is 006699. So this is going to have a blue background with um, like a light gray font. So now we have a style. Whenever anything is baby blue, then it's essentially going to make that widget blue. So how do we apply this style to these widgets? Well, if you go in your activity or wherever the widget is, then let's go ahead and do it to this first one right now. And also what I would like to do is just select all of this and then hold down Control Alt L and then run this and then this is just going to reformat everything. Again that's Control Alt L and it makes everything nice and neat. So 
the first thing that you can add is a property called style. So in your text view, and apparently I selected the second one, oh well, still work. Add a style attribute inside the property to at style baby blue. Now check it out. As soon as I apply a style to this widget right here, it changes it to blue as we specified in our XML style right there. Now I can apply this to every single one this third one and also the first one and how awesome is that now the cool thing about this is if you ever wanted to go back and say you know what I actually want to change these all to have a red background so instead of just going through okay let me select this background then this one background then that one background all you have to do is go to your styles and then just change this to some color red and then pop back over pretty stinking awesome but of course the name is baby blue so I'm gonna keep that blue for now and check it out so now let me explain that inheritance thing I was talking about because it's gonna make a lot more sense now so you guys already know what inheritance is it's pretty much grabbing all of the stuff from somewhere else and using it in whatever you're creating so it's just like Java kind of so let's go ahead in our oceans.xml and inherit from baby blue now of course whenever we inherit what we need to do is we need to give it a new name and the name is actually really important the first part is if we just type baby blue right here that says inherit everything from baby blue and then add a little period and what this allows us to do is it allows us to give it uh, kind of our own custom version of baby blue so I'm gonna name this one big blue and that's how you inherit from any other style so right now even though that it looks like nothing is in here essentially what we did is we copied all of this and we're pasting it in here so now if we add something like item and set something like Android I don't know we'll just change uh, the text size so what we can do here is just change the text size to like something big like 30 SP then again anything that we apply the style baby boo baby blue big blue is not only gonna get all the stuff from baby blue right here but we also overrode the text size to make it 30 SP and this just bumps up the text a little bit so for this first one right here let me go ahead and change this to baby blue dot big blue and check out what happens so again it gets all the stuff from baby blue but also the new crap from big blue as well so that is inheritance and the thing that may confuse you so I just want to touch on this a little bit whenever you are inheriting from a style that you created yourself you use the syntax of the styles name dot separator and then the new name now if you look in styles right here which is the default one whenever they inherited from somewhere else they had this parent attribute so again that's the only difference if you want to inherit from something that you created then you use the dot separator but if you want to inherit something from Android then you need the parent so right now we are inheriting from the dark action bar which pretty much is um, makes the action bar like dark gray and all that stuff so if you guys ever get confused about like different inheritance that is why but now that you guys know the basics of styles in the next tutorials what I want to do is I want to show you guys something called a theme and a theme is how you can pretty much apply an overall style to your entire activity and not just individual widgets